This is the Me Ever Hostel where we're staying. We're getting our first meal. Falafel French fries, no drink. Says the trail. Yeah. Getting falafel. Thank you, sir. And French fries. This is Mitsubi Ramen overlooking the crater where we walked across yesterday. Crazy. City of Mitsubi Ramen. And that's Solomon. We just hiked across that desert. This is uh, Mitsubi Ramen. This is where we've been eating. This is where we're doing our shopping. Not, it's not too. Solomon? Yeah? What are you doing? Laundry. This is how we do our laundry on the trail in the sink. I, I just went and got some soap. This is our home at We Ever Hostel in Midsby Ramen. We got a, our own little trailer, some bunk beds inside. Bus to Ain Bokek from Mitsubi Ramen. On the way to Ain Bokek. We are below sea level. We're on the way to Ain Bokek. Just left the bus station in Arad. This is Ain Bokek, and now we start walking on the Israel Trail along the Dead Sea. This is the Dead Sea. Ain Bokek found a little place to go in right on the Israel National Trail. It's all solid salt. Very salty. Hurts the feet. Solomon is coming in. Just being from Florida, it's a little cold for him. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta go for it. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. No, no sinking. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Solomon's in. I can't even breathe because the salt is so heavy. My eyes are burning. He's floating. My nose is burning. Hiking from Ein Bokek along the promenade to Masada Night Camp. We are still walking along the Dead Sea. That's Ken up there. This is camp in Masada, it's pretty horrible. It's raining and the wind is just howling. It was a rough arrival, that's for sure. The wind was blowing, we had to line our tents with rocks. Stuff was blown away, Ken lost his bag, blew away. We're gonna take one last look for it. We're going to Masada, leaving the campsite. It's about seven. Ken's tent blew away, I caught it. His tent bag blew about 30 feet in the air and just took off. Coming up to Masada, morning after our windy, windy night. This is crazy. We got a Welcome to Masada National Park. That's the cable car. We just came up and down there. Just walking around. Masada. This is original. From Masada, 
That's beautiful. Sure, That's like artwork, right? So this is original. The ritual bath. Masada. This is from the bathhouse observation point. There's Masada. Just leaving Masada, hiking to the next camp. What a cool spot for lunch by this cliff. Nice shady spot. Hiking up. Back there is where we had lunch. There's my man Ken, scout leading the way. This is what we call a wadi. We just did a major up. We're doing a flat area right now. We got about five miles left to go. This is Kafar Anadokum. Just walked about 10 miles from Masada. Bunch of camels here at the entrance to the village. This is Kafar Panadokum. So we're sleeping tonight and we're gonna go find the shower. This is just a cool little place here, complex. It's a cool little cottages to stay at. This morning, the fox tried to get into Ken's tent, steal his food. We're gonna start our day. Left Khan Hoyakum this morning. Now we're hiking down another wadi. Beautiful morning. Here comes Solomon. Wadi. Walking through the wadis. Ooh, there's some water down there in case we are desperate. Solomon's doing it. His third day on the trail after sickness. You can see Khan Harokum from here where we started today. We left at 7.30 in the morning and now it's in sight. The wind is blowing. I'm freezing. Well, that's where we came from. Entering the city of Arad. Arrived in Arad and we're getting falafels. Falafel? How is your falafel, Solomon? Everything's good so far. He has friends that take people in. They are trail angels. This is where we stayed last night, the garden area. Cool little place. So that's where we stayed last night. Just walking through the neighborhood in a rod, leaving for the trailhead. So we're leaving the lady's house where we stayed. This is a rod park. Just passing by, they got water, but we don't need it. I think this is the most green I've seen since I left home. 
there's a rod way in the background. A bunch of camels running by. Don't know where they're headed. The baby one. Kind of a junky area going through here. A lot of trash, dogs barking, camels running around. This is an ancient Roman road we're walking along. Just came out of a small village. Got attacked by dogs, got bit in the leg. Painful, hopefully no infection. Solomon's walking along the ancient Roman road. Way out there is a rod. They're so bright red. Unbelievable. This is like an Arab camp mess. Ready to roll. This is uh, lunch. After the dog attack, we had to scrub out the dog wound, put some ointment on it. That's where we came from. That city way over there. Passed some ruins along the way. Four Bedouin boys attacked us. The dogs bit us. The pepper spray got them. You should have seen the pepper spray hit the dogs. They just went down. I'm trying to grab my shoes. Because the only thing back there are my shoes, my little rubber shoes, and a loaf of bread. Lots of trees. So this is supposedly an ancient Roman road, according to our book. This is like thousands of years old. I see Ken way up there. Hi. We arrived and the whole neighborhood's fenced in. You know, we called a guy, he said we could stay here, but we don't know where. Where's your house? Ah, ask around. You just tell him Didi. Day Day Land in Amasa, it's an old bus. This is where we're sleeping tonight in Day Day Land. And they've even got a little heater for us. This is the love bus. No, that's the love shack. What, what's the bus? School bus? The uh, magic bus. Magic bus, there you go. We got a view of the Palestinian territories. We just left the day day land and I'm nervous now every time I see a barking dog after being attacked yesterday. Lots of trees today. This is we just left Amasa this morning in kind of a pretty area. Finally seeing more trees. Beautiful morning. Hiking down the road from Amasa to Mitar. Poppies are coming out. See there's fields solid red with them. This is the trail. No real trail, just kind of looking for markers. These are ancient Herbot settlement ruins from 2,000 to 2,500 years old that were walking past on the trail. Some old columns. Old wall. Just walking along the trail. You see these old ruins. That olive press up there is really cool. Some sheep coming through. Shalom. That's our town. Or that's our town. Or that could be Palestinian territory. Fencing. Other side. Their town. Fence. It is two o'clock and we finished 14 miles. We ended up at this camps site that has water. This is our campsite outside. 
May Tower and a little park. Nice area. That's the wall at the West Bank just coming out on the tower. Here's Solomon crossing under a road. All the poppies coming out. This is Palm Cave. Solomon's coming up to the top of Got Hill. Top of Got Hill. Heading towards Devira Forest. Just climbed Got Hill. It, the smell is so strong. These white flowers. This is our little place at Devere. Kibbutz, Solomon's gonna open the door, check it out. This is it, we got our kitchen and some mattresses, table. Solomon, Do you like it? Love it, very happy here. This is where, where we are spending the night. Very nice people here. So Solomon's cleaning up the garbage at the kibbutz because it's everywhere. So just walking through the Devira kibbutz. Salmon's making the spaghetti for dinner. And hot dogs for appetizers. We got hot dogs. Falafels for dinner. Yeah. And the cafeteria. So we're doing falafel night, which was about six bucks or so a piece. And this is it. On the way to Phillip Farm, we left Devira this morning. Lots of poppies along here. So we're getting ready to hike through a nature preserve of some sort. This is the 400 year old acacia tree or very green. On our way to Phillip's Farm. Walking along a ravine. Flowers everywhere. Perfect time to be here. Passing through a little eucalyptus grove here. This is called Phillips Farm and supposedly they got camping and water. This is Phillips Farm campsite. Just got here. I might set my pad right on a picnic table, sleep out here. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. You guys are doing it right. <laughs> Loopy. This is the Phillips Farm. These are our tents at Phillips Farm. Left Phillips Farm today, now passing some grape plantations. The same of this is that way, yeah, this is grapes. Uh, you can see that all the area. We just went through the winery. Now we're just almost to our ending point. Solomon, you getting a lot of good food? Just finished shopping in the Kish, and Solomon is wrapping up his blister on his foot, and Loopy is checking stuff on his phone. A broken uh, um, backpack. Yeah, Ordering a piece for his broken backpack. This is getting close to Beit Govern. Really pretty day. Nice rolling hills and grass. This is Beit Govern, ancient historical town and we are on an old military post. K 
camp tonight. Set our pads up in here, safe from the dogs.